your relationship is doomed to fail in the Philippines or Southeast Asia if you are doing these five things. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick Blackrock at P Money Patrick. Here are five ways that you can doom your relationship with a Filipina, a Khmer girl, a Thai girl, a Vietnamese girl, and across Southeast Asia. Number one, leaning too hard on your girlfriend. What do I mean by leaning too hard on your girlfriend? When you come in to her country and you relinquish your leadership role to her. In general, women desire to be led by men, be it the West or East especially in Southeast Asia where feminism have not taken control and destroyed their minds like it has done to many Western females. You might be saying, Patrick, well, I don't really know that society very well. I rely on my girls to get certain things done. True? Why you may rely on your girl to navigate the society, you should never relinquish your leadership role to her, including having her paying in bills, even if it is your money, and you set up the account. Because this is what is going to happen. These people are very family oriented, and they hardly say no. They have a difficult time saying no. Once you let her have control over your bank account to pay the bills, a lot of her friends, her family especially, extended families included, and neighbors will start bombarding her with requests for money. And since they have a hard time saying no, she will just run through your bank account like a hot knife goes through butter. And again, I say this because I want to emphasize on this number one. If you're living in this country and you could hardly navigate around, you don't know your way around, she has to be there to direct you, to lead you like you are blind. In her mind, she might, more be, she might not be vocal about this, but in her mind, in her female mind, never forget they are female first. She's thinking if something is to go down, I cannot rely on this man to do what needs to be done to get me out of this situation, to get me out of that situation. Not just me, but my children. Because he does not know how to navigate this society. He cannot survive on his own in this society. I will have to be the one, should a disaster strike, to run around and put things together including evacuation plan. In her mind, she's thinking that. She might not vocalize it, but her female mind thinks that. Number two is not learning the history and culture of your host country. There are do's and don'ts, cultural taboos, etiquette that are very important to people, especially people like the Philippines that are very proud people, they might forgive certain transgressions because they know that you don't know better. But if you live there long term and you continue to do those things, after a while, they will start to resent you for that. They might not be direct because in this society, they like to save face. They don't like to be confrontational. However, you're going to see it come out in certain ways. Learn the history of this, your host country and learn their culture. Learn things that are taboos and things that are acceptable and things that are not acceptable. So you're not transgressing and creating bad name for yourself and your countrymen, your other fellow countrymen. Number three. This one is quite very important, 
and I see guys doing this one more often than not and they don't know that when you are in Southeast Asia and you are dating this one is being negative openly criticizing her people her country and things around you being impatient because when we come from the west we are we operate we are quite efficient however we almost sometimes in a hurry anxious to go nowhere just want things to be quick and fast you know people in the west generally they want things to be really really quick and you come out to these countries and people are just relaxed I mean, if it takes 20 minutes, it takes 20 minutes. People don't really care. Showing display of anger, especially in public, that is heavily frowned upon, and your Filipina girlfriend or wife will resent you for it. Number four is being too stingy. Yes, you do not want to be the a walking ATM because most of the time these people see us as a walking ATM, like we did not bust up are behind to get what we have like we just in the USA or the UK and money just magically appears on our mattress or in our bank accounts every month they just think oh they always have money why don't they just give because they themselves they love giving especially in the Philippines they just love spending 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 not thinking about tomorrow I see guys here being too stingy. You don't want to display to be the cheap Charlie. You want to show that, because it is the role of uh, a responsible man in a society, in a civil society, to help those who are in need beyond reason. So you want to do that with her family, making it very clear that you're not a walking ATM. You will help, but first you will have to verify the problem that they have and it's actually a problem and you will help with within reason because most of the time if you don't do that they will just come to you with fictitious problems made up problems just to get money from you number five this one is quite very important this for me should have been number one is being sexually thirsty always thirsty i mean you are not the first one to come to Southeast Asia or the Philippines. Unfortunately, the hard truth is that the ones that, that came before us have less, left a bad stain on our image of being sexual maniacs. That we are always sexual, that we are hypersexual and we sexualize a lot of things and we love to constantly be having sex. That we don't care about nothing else. All we come here for a sex and you prove that when you are with your Filipina or your Thai girlfriend your newly uh, Cambodian Khmer girlfriend or Malay girlfriend you name Vietnamese girlfriend and all every day all day you just want to have sex you know you just want to be booed up in your hotel room or your Airbnb do nothing but fucking. Do nothing but just tearing it up. Like a guy that was being stranded in a desert and all of a sudden being showed to an oasis. You want to space it out, especially for a girl that you care about, that you want to make potentially your wife. Show restraint, show self restraint. Show self-control. Have sex, but don't always be on her. And another thing, this is a bonus point, a display of public affection. It is frowned upon in these countries, and you do not want to be doing it. They might not say something, but if you continue to do it, it's just going to lead to problems. So like, share, comment, and as always, and subscribe. Be money out.
If you like that video and you want to watch others like it, click right here, your new dream.